KTI with Kevin Nagandi and Kevin Connors. They'll look at Kirk Cousins and the Vikings game plan against the Redskins. That's tonight, Thursday Night Football, plus the risk versus reward for Patrick Mahomes and Drew Brees getting back on the field and how James Harden and Russell Westbrook can get off to a fast start for the Rockets tonight. There's a new NBA champion. The Warriors open their season tonight in the new Chase Center hosting Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers. Both teams have undergone major changes to the roster and tonight will be the first time we get to see how the Warriors look with just a single splash brother. On that note, we bring in senior NBA writer for ESPN's Undefeated, Mark Spears, friend of the show. Always good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Uh, I want to start with this, guys. Yesterday on Woj's podcast, Draymond Green opened up about that incident with him and Kevin Durant back in November and their relationship. Take a listen. Bob and, and Steve, they told me, like, you need to apologize to Kevin before I got suspended. And I said, no, I'm not apologizing because y'all tell me to apologize. I'm not going to do that. And I didn't. And I never apologized to him until I came to grips with myself, not because of some games or the team ain't flowing right, but I can kind of see a look in my brother's face that I have not seen. He's hurt. How do I fix that? And that was what bothered me more than anything. And it just felt like, wow, is this not the guy I've thought I'd known for all these years? Is he turning on me? And I started to tell myself all of these things. And then I turn on and I read it and everybody's like, oh my God, the Warriors sided with Kevin Durant. Right, it's like, right. whoa. Right. That was, I think, was the toughest thing for me. Mark, I know how clearly you covered this team, and obviously Draymond signed an extension now. But where is his relationship with the team at this moment? Oh, they're fine. I mean, they've, they've far they moved on. If Woj didn't have this great interview, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have talked about it. I mean, Kevin Durant's reign in, in Golden State being over, as great as he was, it almost feels like this cloud is kind of like lifted from the team. The daily questions about where he was going, what he was going to do, and I think that really took a physical toll on that team. I'm sure they would want him back and would take him back even now with the injury. But they've moved on, and Draymond's moved on, and I think they've long moved on. And the fact they didn't trade him and they gave him that money shows mm -hmm. that. You know, <clears throat> Kevin Durant, they embraced him when he arrived. Um, he never had bad relationships with the players or anything like that. But he always felt, and he's alluded to this, that it was them and then him. He I always don't felt agree with that. that. Well, he felt that. Yeah, I know. He, fe he, he yeah. felt that way. And I'm not saying that it was as, as accurate. I'm just saying he's entitled to his feelings. Yes. And it wasn't like he was mistreated or anything like that. It's just that when you're drafted by a team and you start your career with them and the relationships that you cultivate years in advance before he arrives, what other people are trying to build with you, they already have. And Kevin Durant is just a different personality for whatever reason that even though he didn't have bad relationships, they didn't necessarily vibe. Now, he wasn't feeling Steve Kerr too much, yeah. uh, but he was real cool with Bob Myers. And it's impossible not to be. If you know anything about Bob Myers, it's impossible not to be cool with Bob Myers. But I will tell you this. Having said all of that, when you look at what Draymond said, what I appreciate about him is how honest he was. And Woj did do a great job with that. But when he said he looked at Kevin Durant and he looked in his eyes and he saw that he was hurt, it's true because Kevin Durant was, and that's the kind. He's that kind of person where he ain't going. He's going to move on. He's going to do what he has to do, but stuff will stay to him if it stay with him. If it stings him, if it stings him, and if Draymond Green ain't great at anything else, he's great at stinging you. Yeah. He is great at stinging you emotionally. He's and, I, and and I'm not even saying it's intentional. Just by the way he communicates, because you got to be a he hardcore have a, brother. He, he doesn't have, he doesn't have filter a filter where he doesn't tell you the real, truth. He's real, he's raw, and he, he thinks about your feelings later. To Draymond, the truth of the moment supersedes everything else in the moment. He's not thinking about, wow. all right, I got I to gotta be careful. I got to couch this just the right way before I say it. He's going to say it because it's important for him first to get the truth and out. And if he feels disrespected, oh. he's going to find oh, yeah. 
He's that, that auntie exactly. that she's going to exactly. find that thing you did you. as a kid. He's going to find you. You don't have to worry about You don't have to. We're in the yeah. media. Let me tell you something right now. You don't have to worry about no liaison calling you, looking at, you yeah. know, yeah. what happened with you. Oh, no, 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 no. Draymond I is going to find it. your number, yeah. and he's going to call you. And the only reason he won't call you is if he thinks he's going to see you first. Well, the other thing about That's what he will the other do. thing about Draymond is he's an underrated player. I don't think people understand the level of his greatness. Right. He's When you think about Golden State and you reduce it down to one component, it's Steph Curry. Yeah. After Steph, I've always thought it's Draymond Green. He's the pick-and-roll partner. He's the guy that allows you to play five out. He's the dive on the ball for the, on the ground for the loose ball guy, all those things. What are the expectations internally for that team? They still got Draymond. They still got Steph. They brought in D'Angelo Russell. And now the Clay news that we're not expected to have Clay also. I don't believe that. Uh, I believe I'm Clay will him. be back. <laughs> I, mean, I believe Clay will be back before the season is over. And, and, okay. and to your point, Cousins last year, remember they said after the All-Star break? After yeah. We saw him mid late January, was it? Yeah. January. Uh, no, 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 no. We still haven't seen DeMarcus Cousins. No, what I'm saying is. He came back. He came back. Oh, okay, yeah. but does he? if he's not Clay Thompson when he gets back, so what difference does it make? But we shouldn't take it as face value. It's I, I don't believe him. Yeah. I mean, I think they're just going to couch and make it. What I'm hearing is Clay's busting his tail, working hard, I'm looking sure. good behind the scenes. Clay, I can assure you, as well as I'm sitting here, Clay Thompson has no intentions of sitting out this entire season. Clay Thompson is going to have to be stopped. Now, whether that's Michael Thompson, yeah. because Michael Thompson is the one person that can sit up there and say, you ain't playing. Yeah. And he, he going to listen to him. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, it's going to take that and or the or Warriors organization uh -huh. to stop Clay from playing this season. He will return in my if estimation. If he does return in their in position, time by the way, Molly, yeah. from an organization yeah. perspective, I spoke to a couple of people in the organization the other day. Their position is is that they reevaluate him in February. Yeah. Their doctors, along with his doctors, will collaborate in that effort, and then they'll move forward from there. They're not even ruling out as an organization. Steve Kerr spoke out of turn. Yeah, Where well, do you I mean, see them finishing up well, if Clay does come well, back? First of all, let me quickly say, you know, as an organization, they got together and Kevin Durant wanted to play too, and now that, that may be the last we ever see of a prime Kevin Durant. I hope, I know it's a different kind of injury, mm -hmm. but it's very serious. I hope it's not the last we see of the real Clay Thompson. He's a special player. I think this team's going to make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, I think if they win a playoff series, that's a win. Making the playoffs is a push. Winning a playoff series is a win because as much as it comes down to Steph and Dre, that's the nucleus of the team. Mm -hmm. They need another – Dre's not an offensive force, really. They need another scoring option, and mm -hmm. I don't know that D'Angelo Russell's talent is pitched high enough. If it is, maybe they get past one round in the playoffs. And you know what we haven't seen yet? And was probably forgotten because he hasn't put on their jersey yet. I think Willie Cauley Stein's really going to help. Them. Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been you know, saying I said that. Floor, I said that in the preseason. Block some shots. Run and, the yeah. floor. Blocks. He's a greyhound. Yeah. He's yep. a greyhound. That's a big, big deal yeah. for yeah. them. They're their fourth best player. So when they played the Lakers the ten times they played in the preseason, they got all the layups. They got all this. They got all. Looney wasn't playing. He'll play. You also got to remember that Draymond played the five at times because he brought that element yeah. to the equation. So you got a guy that's considerably taller and longer than him that does what Draymond Except does, which frees, three. which but it frees Draymond up to do other things because he doesn't have to be inundated with those responsibilities. And he's going to catch some alley oops. Mm -hmm. He's going to get some blocks. He's going to help, you know, save some things defensively. Yeah. So what I, I think what he's the something they've been wanting for a long yeah. time. What are, the, what are the internal expectations? And Steph's mindset. Man, I mean, because they're champions, because they've been there five years in a row, there's ne they're never going to admit to reality. Mm -hmm. Reality to me doesn't look good right now. Can I say this? Let me preface my comments by saying I do not wish this on anybody. Please, I'm not doing that. Because I love me some Steph Curry. I don't know if Steph Curry going to last the season. Mm. I'm telling you right now, they are not going to allow. The they are not. No, no. I'm telling you, no, no. They're going to put a hat on them. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Oh, from they, that they, they, Let me tell you right now. This dude is such a marksman, such a sniper, so gifted. Without Clay, 
without Kevin Durant. Now we get the key on you. People going to look at him. He's going to make five threes a game. He's going to average 35 a game or whatever. Here's the thing. I believe Hard, that, by the way. Harden and these boys are a little bit stronger. Not to say Ke- 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 Clay, I'm, I'm sorry, Steph is deceptively stronger. Please don't get me wrong. But they are not going to allow this dude to run free. And he's, they're going to run him through picks right. and screens. Hold on, hold on. Hey, they're going to put the body on him, man. Why, I'm telling you. Why, gonna, why don't we hold Russell accountable? He who, has, who, he has to be a leader. Russell? He has to oh, be sure, 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 sure. He has to make it easier for Steph. It can't. Yeah. This guy was an all star last year. Yeah, an alternate yeah, all-star. He, was, 21. he was an alternate, but, and it's because he guy got hurt. He still and was. It's because, he could still yeah, score. Yeah. He, he has I'm to, to help impressive. save Steph Curry. Can I ask Steph, you? Curry so. Steph Curry, everything you've seen yeah. James Harden yeah, right. do, right. watch. Steph Curry's going to be the best offensive player for the in games the game he plays. Yeah. For the games he plays. Stephen A. I don't know how many we got to go to break, but I was thinking about this. We started with the relationship Draymond and KD, and obviously we saw what Kyrie did last night. What's Kyrie and KD's relationship like? They're very cool. They're, They're very cool with each other. Yeah. Very much so. All right. Yeah. Mark, appreciate you. Uh, you're sticking around. Yeah. Much more to come here on First Take. Despite his injury, we're talking a little football. Will these guys still take Showtime Mahomes over that bad man? Plus, Keyshawn Johnson will join the debate to tell us which star quarterback he would take. There he is. Mr. L.A. is in the building. Make room. Good to see you. 